So here we are again. It's a bit of a bank situation here. We've got the beautiful oak tree here. So we got, can't touch that. But the bank is really bad here. Too steep. Um, so we're gonna make something out of it. Let's see. Basically what I'm doing here is benching it in. I need some good material and benching it in. Which is um, pretty simple. What, what, what does mean? You can't just one end. In this case, this end. Let me just get a bit further back so I can show you. So as you can see, it's pretty simple this way because the field behind it is flat. So it's straightforward. I literally just cut it back into hard ground, which is good. But because you don't have to build it, you're cutting it out from virgin material. But here, it's better to see it here. To see it from here. So if that runs out into nothing, as you can see, and then we're going down here. And because because of that oak tree, we can't move that obviously. So we got to work around it and shape everything to it. So here I'm cutting the bang, the original bang. I take the first of all, I take the crap away. Um, in this case, I just put it on the side. No topsoil or anything like it or background, bad ground uh, material. It has to be dug down. And basically, I start with the bottom. I make a flat a, a flat base wide enough for the machine to go in. So I can track it in. The best would be if we have a wheel compactor, but we haven't. No drama, you can use the machine itself just to track it in. Put it in thin layers, track it in. So uh, I'm doing that. And uh, once I done that like this, like you see it here, I just done that. I get a bit closer and you will see it. So that's already filled material here. That's about, I think it's two dumper loads here already. Uh, packed in in a thin layer, but you can see here what I do. I literally just took, scraped all the crappy material off. So that's nice. It's a bit damped clay, but it's solid clay, solid clay. And I'm just gonna put the material on that, make it flat, and then track it in. And I got my base, and I can just build on that. The way I build on that, obviously you're not gonna build that up and then cut it back um, you're gonna bench it in which is mean I'm gonna cut into the bank as I go further up probably I put another six inches on there and as I go as I uh, go further up I cut into the bank I cut this like here down put it in here track it in mix it up and then come up another foot and then I move back again so basically in a steps like that I'm benching it in so the new material is sits on something instead of laying on a bank and of course I'm following that shape up here and there it is so they cut this bank out looking pretty good that is our hero Dave And uh, that bank is made out of sand, pretty much. Well, God knows what happened, but we got these random spots, and then water just coming up to the surface. And then we got some really, I don't know if you can see, but it's like carpeting, really spongy. So we're digging some test trenches, uh, yeah, to find out where's the water coming from. Uh, we did one already and by the looks of it it's the bottom layer of material which is most likely sandstone and water probably just a water table going through the going through between the layers of the sandstone we'll find out that's just lovely all right so we've done the bank over there and it's all cut out lovely what we're doing now we're gonna have a retaining wall here a two foot high wooden retaining wall and immediately next to it uh, a footpath as a buggy path so it's gonna be about a meter and a half too wide 
and um, that's the bench where I'm sitting that's the footpath and the retaining wall is gonna come again sit here right here as you can see and once it's built we just better this better this uh, down to the water edge so the final water level is up here actually that's where where I'm sitting that's the water le uh, water level so the final water level we're touching the bottom of the retaining wall so yes it should look really pretty and nice it's showing how uh, accurate our uh, measurements are so these flags we put them here months and months ago when the job started to see where our water levels are there is another peg you can see it's just came off of it um, where are our water levels are and we're doing them um, we're doing a marking again with the laser and as you can see these flags just appeared from the mud it's been covered up uh, they just appeared and exactly matching up with our new markings so that's really good news it's mean we pretty accurate here with the levels please with that please with that so yeah using the new digger today uh, the Ancon is not here it would be much easier with the Ancon but it's not here and it's all doable with a normal digger so the good thing with that she's tight so there's no play in the paints so once I'm cut that top bench level the machine is sitting level from there from there it's pretty easy to dug this uh, lower section here the only downside I have to do it sideways sort of thing but it's all right it's just just don't be greedy with it uh, little by little so it's not breaking up the ground um, and uh, it's fine so yep yeah, that's what we got to do so it actually turned out pretty good if I'm honest these uh, side walls are pretty straight it's gonna be quite nice and easy to put the wall against it but further up there so I started down there somewhere and worked my way this way so the cab was this side close to the ditch so I had really good visibility and I had to turn around go that way the cab is on the other side and I can't see so I got rob with me with the laser yeah and the ground is soft so the digger is I leveling it up and then you know two buckets full of later it's just sink somewhere so the, the walls is pretty damn good here really uh, further down here when I started going the other way you will see it in a minute it just isn't right I mean it's all right but uh, I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it. So here, almost the best way is just get a spade and tidy up with that. Anyway, go for me.